This is Eric Best, and you're listening to Car Sessions 2035 with Cooley Ranks. Turn it up, tune it in, fill your cup with the sound medicine. Hello, operator, are you listening? Cooley Ranks on a mission. Catch the fire, turn the ignition. Coming to you loud sound system. Ha <laughs> ha 
Margaret is in the house. He's really saying fire. On. You're on. We on? Is that what you're saying to me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the building we have the Dandrys. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dandrys in the building, in the building, in the building. Yes, and the crowd goes mad. Yes. What's up, party people? This is the Dandrys, and you're listening to Car Sessions 2035. You know that's right. You know that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome them in the, in the audience once again. What's up, brothers? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good, man. How you doing? Finally got you in here. We finally made this thing work today. <laughs> it's good to see you, Cooley, man. Yo, thank you, man. Nice. Listen, I don't know if I if I pass across before. Have we? Uh, Supernova, actually. Is that it? Yes, sir. Yeah, you guys are on fire, in fact, on Supernova. I did get... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, my memory's old. Came running by the booth, man. Yeah, I might have been on fire. That's true. <laughs> Supernova was a wild one. <laughs> it was a wild one, but let me let me get back onto you for a second. We're gonna big up Supernova on the next episode, I'm sure, because you know that that's what we do anyway. Yes, sir. How, how, how did you guys get started, man? Because right now it seems like you guys are the ones that are leading Denver, Colorado. Is that because that's what I read? I've read, I read up, read up on you guys a little bit. You guys are the leading band in Denver, Colorado, and how did that happen? Well, we've been a band since 2003, so I think the longevity definitely helps there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, and just being consistent and playing shows all the time, you know, all the time in Denver. So. As much as we can. <laughs> what made you choose that style of music to play? Uh, the band started as a side project for a ska punk band that we were in. And we wanted to see if we could actually do a more kind of actual ska band. So um, that was that was the goal. And then we ended up being way better than the ska punk version. So <laughs> we kind of just stuck with it. Added some horns, a little bit of flair, a little bit of love. Yeah. Yeah. Little cinnamon and spice makes the dendrites nice, right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, Tara, again, I'm, I'm reading what the people are saying about you while I'm well on it. <laughs> I hope it's nice. It's all nice, man. It's a bunch of love. <laughs> hey, boys, that's from Tara. Margaret. Yeah, Tara, yes. what's up? And then uh, Margaret has another one. She says, fire. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, Big Merle is in the building. She guys, hi, guys. What's up? Big Merle is in the building. That's on the Twitch. Um, yeah, so... You guys started out in 2003, and you're, what happened during COVID? Because I've still seen you guys are playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, during COVID, man, Cooley, it was it was rough, buddy. We uh, we definitely, we had our, our, it was our EP release actually was scheduled for, for April, April 15th or 20th or something like that. Yeah. And uh, obviously, you know, our, our most recent release, Luncheon with the Dendrites, um we were gonna have a big you know show and throw down and do what we do and then obviously that that didn't really happen for us there it is good cue up um <laughs> but uh we ended up doing this fun thing in our backyard coolie where you know if we couldn't rehearse in our cramped tiny little basement space we just brought our gear into the backyard and um kind of rocked for the neighborhood <laughs> and that ended up being really positive and and cool and you know the neighbors would sit out on their back porch and and got kind of used to us doing it on Sunday afternoons and we received a lot of love there actually and got some some really cool new fans that way yeah Definitely. it was a cool way to stay uh stay playing <laughs> I, I, I tell you what during the COVID I discovered you guys I mean not like I, I found you guys during COVID that's that's when everything stopped and then you had a chance to smell the roses what sweet roses you guys are man. I'm like <laughs> the, the, uh, I'm trying to describe your music man. it's it's different it's different uh, it's got like a big band sound like a big jazz band and then again it's, it's funky right <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, what what drew me to this band was, you know, I'm a I'm a huge fan of the Scottalites, Um, and I grew up playing Latin and jazz music. And the Dendrites are throwing down totally instrumental, 
ska Latin bangers that just mm. insatiable. You know what I'm saying? The crowd's going crazy. And as an early fan of this band, before I was actually in this group, yeah. um, I, was, I was seeing it from afar and just, I was drawn to it. it had to be part of it. Yeah. And um, so I was doing everything I could to, to team up with Keith here and, <laughs> and help book shows and, you know, when we, we did our first big tour out West, um, yeah, that was, that was kind of how I got introduced to the band. And that was when I got asked to join the band actually. So Wicked. yeah. Wicked. Let me, let me give the people a little sample of what we're talking about here. Let's do it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the concert in 2035, we have the dance rights. Watch the right and watch the entry. Chris Ryan, big up yourself. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. That is just crazy. Ed Rice in the building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what you saying? New Jack in the building. New Jack. I think they saying turn up the volume. <laughs> oh yeah. Crank it, baby. Go. Denver, Colorado, stand up. Come again, select. Uh, are you mean? So again, I mean, what is that? <laughs> what is that? What the hell is that? that that's, the, that's the reaction to the mozzarella ska meme right there. That's it. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a theme song for a for a bad cop television program. You know, <laughs> that is fire. I can see people going crazy. Yeah, you gotta keep that tempo low, those horns up. You gotta keep the flavor in it. You know what I'm saying? One of whole lot of flavor in that, brother. Whole <laughs> lot of it's all about that attitude, you know? Taking off the wrinkles and making wrinkles. That's right, man. That's right. Yeah, that song, that's a funny one, man. That's that's a different sound for us for sure. And uh I guess kind of helped us name our last EP, Lunching with the Dendrites, because you know it's a slang thing you know we'd be like man that's lunching like what what are you even talking about and all of a sudden we came out with this this song and we started you know rocking on this little like jam yeah. and we turned it into a whole song and it ended up being what you know the song's called do jack yeah. and it became a whole kind of inside joke where we were like oh the do jack it's a mythical creature it's a mythical creature and it eats mozzarella ska kids and you know, we got this absolutely bananas, bizarro, anti-ska, but like really ska at the heart of it, kind of theme song anthem of Denver ska, you know? Yeah, respect, respect. You got to carve your niche, man, and make it, make it known that it's, this is where it's coming from. This is where it is, and this is where we at. That's, that's respect, man, of respect. Yes, yeah. sir. So when do you plan on coming to the East Coast bringing that star? Ooh, man, we'll come to the East Coast any old time. Yeah. We got to call in a couple favors of some of those East Coast bands that have crashed on our couch. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think it's about time you, you step. I, you know what I noticed, you know, I, I noticed like us on the East Coast, we travel to you guys a lot. We, we always coming through here, but you, I don't see the reciprocation. Yeah, it's, it's tough, man. I'll tell you the East Coast. So what, is, what is it? What is it that it takes from your end? So it's a long drive. So we got to have a lot in between, you know, it's eight hours in between Denver and like the next stop for the first stop, you know, we don't get to have like a four hour drive ever. It's a lot of like, you know, so it, to get all the way out there is going to take a two weeks, you know, at least there and back if we're playing. Yeah. So 
it'll take some planning. But you know, yeah. uh, you should know enough bands at this point that have come through Denver, play with you okay. in different various states that should be like, yo, I need a show with you guys. Yeah, slept on our floor, slept on our couch. Exactly. Yeah, we we, yeah. we can definitely call in some favors. Yep. Yeah, we, yeah, we just got to plan it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't see what's holding us up. We might as well just get to work on it today. <laughs> I'm saying, though, I mean, here's one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I've never slept on your couch, but I'd be beholden on you to, to see. Yes, you sir. <laughs> well, you can. You're always welcome. You're always welcome, Cooley, man. You know that. I appreciate that. So, I so I actually originally grew up in, in the Washington, D.C. area. Oh, word. And and I came up in the, the D.C. ska scene in the late 90s. Went by so, Fantasm and all that? Phantasmagoria was my home base, man. I'd oh go out there God. and see checkered cabs and I'd see, you know, <laughs> oh my God. And, no and, way. Uh, that was our home. Yeah, you remember you remember the corner kick out in Gaithersburg too? Corner kick. That was that like indoor soccer complex where they throw ska shows and Word. Eastern Standard Time and the Ratchet Word. Boys. Word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Joel and Tracy. They're saying Phil Collins is my favorite of yours oh yeah. man philly collins that's the banger joel was just out joel flew out this last weekend to see us play joel's the man joel respect yeah, man for real he threw this I... secret party for us too man at, at so, supernova that is that is joel you know exactly what it was and another brother uh big moral says i'm that next stop after denver so hopefully you can make oh, it out to some, some kansas venue. city in the house so, Ooh, is there kansas city which way big which Merle, are you in kansas city Big Merle, are you in Canvas City? Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, where are you at? Where are you at? Where's the Bill next? says, Scott Bill says, well, what up to, to, what up? Come to Minneapolis. There you go. Come yeah, respect. We're, making it happen right we're, now. we're just going to book this tour on, on car sessions today, y'all. You so well, we'll get in the car out. as we get out of here. Yeah, we might as well just start packing up the <laughs> van right now, I guess. There you go. <laughs> okay. okay, Big Merle says she's in um, him or her. Sorry, Merle. I, I, I don't know your identity here. Omaha. Omaha. Easy. All right. Ain't yeah. nothing but an eight-hour drive, right? Oh, that's an eight-hour drive? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Okay, there you go. There we go. We make it happen. It's making it happen right here. That's <laughs> it, man. I think we got maybe one more video, two more videos. Ooh, you got some videos on cue oh, no, here, oh, no, Chris? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh yeah. look who's in the building. We got Jeremy Penn is in the building. He says, wow, you're at it. Come up to the oh. Yo, dude, respect to booked. Jeremy. Oh, yeah. Yo, your tour is getting booked right here. Oh, Yo, right. Bandulu's hold on, hold on. respect. Rock steady Steph is busting some fire there for you. Damn it. <laughs> this is this is uh oh and Bergmer, Big Merle says the Soko Hall is being renovated right now. Finally, have a great green room. Yeah, dude. All right. That's what we need. <laughs> I mean, we got enough. We got enough players in the band. We're definitely gonna be taking up a green room. That's for sure. <laughs> this is a beautiful thing. Or a so back what, parking lot, or whatever. You know, we're when, we're when not limited. To, when did you move out to Colorado? Then? So I moved to Colorado in two thousand and six, wow. and met Keith like within the year there, going to shows. Beautiful. Yeah. So, isn't that bad? Scott does that. It's Say magic. again? I said, isn't it magic how magical how Ska does that? Ska it's brings magic. everyone together, man. It's just That's a good you time. Say. You just got, all you got to say is Ska. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, we family. Yup, people got love, man. It's true. And they know. You know, it's not like telling somebody that you're into metal or you're into, you know, punk it's a rock. Energy. Exactly. Totally different energy. Yep. Uh, rock steady, rock, rock steady Steph says you killed it at Supernova. <laughs> Thank oh, thanks for checking it. We were up early too, man. That was one where we had to bring the thunder like right out of the gate. Uh, I wish I had thunder that night. I was just so exhausted. I was so exuberant of just being there. I, I didn't sleep the entire night and we drove like eight hours, six hours, whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, there's more, there's more talking here. That, that, oh, nice. talking a lot to you. Hit this me. Is a, this is a lot of activity. Okay, so Cole has hosted. A uh, who's who of ska punk bands. I've been there for no doubt. Real Big Fish, Mighty Boston's, Dropkick Murphy, Suburban Legends. This is the spot. Yeah, we could we can definitely hang. That's some good company, but 
man, we'll put on, we'll come out there and rock the stage. We just need some details, you know, get at us. The dendrites at gmail.com. Yeah. 1-800-1900, the dendrites, right? Is that we're right? Working on, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put out false information. They will call it. Yeah, us. man. <laughs> Without the real, the, the right. stuff, they will call it. We'll, we'll, we'll be like, uh, standard standard rates will apply. 1-900, the dendrites. <laughs> <laughs> they be calling, bro. Yeah, they'll be calling. That's all right. So, so what, what, give Keith's cell phone number out over the air and let everyone prank phone call. Him. Yeah, bring it on, all right? I'll prank you back. So you, you guys just released this record during COVID and you weren't able to actually push it the way you wanted to. What's, are you, you're still pushing it now, right? You should, be, you should be able to start pushing it now, right? Oh, yeah. We're still going with it, for sure. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's up on Spotify. You can catch it on Bandcamp. You can buy all our T-shirts and merch and back back catalog the vinyl. um we still got some merch in there we still got plenty of merch and t-shirts we just did a new run that has the um the cover launching with the dendrites um the, the album art right on the chest yeah that ended up looking fantastic that was all keith's idea to make a run of merch with that art <laughs> there you go there you go you gotta have some of that jeremy's love are we getting a luncheon vinyl Lunching vinyl, yes. Uh, we're hoping for sort that. of working on it. Yeah, we get there's some details. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta write a few more songs here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we got a nice handful of new tunes. I mean, we like I said, you know, we were we were having fun in the backyard on Sundays still during COVID. Yeah, and we wrote a whole batch of new tunes. Fire. Yeah, we're working on it though. And so yeah, hopefully we can. Uh, we can get them all together and release it on vinyl. We're throwing that energy out into the universe. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of energy you're throwing out. Mac Wixon says four, $4 and 20 cents for the first minute, 99 cents for the addition. I'm telling 69 you. 69 cents. Yo, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an experienced one 900 patron right there. Let's go, Matt Wixon. <laughs> yeah, yeah baby. Jeremy Press one, one to talk to $1 Nick. $1 per minute. Jeremy <laughs> says $1 per minute. Mm -mm. <laughs> that'll pay for tour I hey think. that'll pay our you tour just dial that in and leave it rolling Keith Lawson says Dan Denver Ska Denver Ska no. Keith Larson hmm. man who, who I wonder that who that guy? guy big up yourself wherever you are Keith Larson there you go Keith whoever you are <laughs> like yeah I represent Denver Oh no, that's our I'll run, Oh my God, he's listen. This is what you just thought. He said Keith Larson says I'll run that one night one nine hundred number, and he'd be the perfect fit for it. Honestly, yeah, he would be the 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 dendrite most suited for this position. I think if we were to create the nine hundred number, <laughs> standard data and and message will apply. <laughs> so let me ask you a couple of questions. Maybe I can get some seriousness from you for one second. <laughs> How far have you gone outside of Denver? Have you gone to the west, or have you you haven't gone to the east? Have you gone to the west at least? Because that's that's closer to you, right? We've been out to yeah, LA and you know oh, that nice. area a couple times. Nice. nice. Um, and then we've we played Supernova, so that's actually the furthest we've been. So wicked, <laughs> wicked. And that's good. Yeah. We're yeah, we did two two stretches out to the the west coast where we primarily we we hit this you know southwest market and ran around in New Mexico, Arizona, um, and then headed out to Southern California and called in a couple of favors and played some fun shows out there and ran around in the California you know Cal California Southern crew. Um, but yeah, we we're we're not opposed to it. We want to make it happen. We want to get out there a little bit more. But because yeah, absolutely, we could be doing better about it. It's just hard because Denver's kind of a bubble, yeah. and it's far. You know, you East Coast yeah. guys are lucky because you get to drive between, mm -hmm. you know, nah, New York and DC, and only spend. You know, I, I don't say we're lucky, man. We just push the limits, man. We just like try to try and try to make uh, nothing out of something. I can dig it. You know, it's really not, it's, you know what it is, man. They give you what they want to give you and you try to make, make it work. Well, and that, you know, it's making something out of nothing. That's a good point there, Cooley, because as ska people, you know, we've, we've seen ska kind of do this yeah. a lot over the years. 
Yeah, and we. And the dendrites have been here in Denver throwing the flag up. You know what I mean? For all these years, where we fluctuated and watched bands kind of come and go. Great, great bands. Yeah. You know, come into existence and then kind of fall off and fade and. You know, it, it really is about making your own scene and making your own community. And that's what, you know, I've been watching Chris and Tara really just kind of champion, you know, what's going on in our scene here and pick up the slack and, you know, light that torch and throw it up and make sure that everybody that's touring knows that Denver is here mm -hmm. and that we got good shows and there's a there's a sky family here. And so, yeah, we got to make something out of nothing. Just like you said, you Cooley, you're right. And the race is not for the swift, but who can endure it? Cheers to that. That's the truth. And you see them come <laughs> and they go. You know, and, and you gotta love this shit, man. You gotta you gotta be willing to sacrifice so much to be a, a ska band. I mean, probably any other band has to do the same thing as well. But the beauty, the beauty that we have, we have a community. We have a built-in community, which is unbreakable. That's right. Regardless of what's going on, it's unbreakable. So big up to all the ska listeners out there and anyone else. That is checking us for the first time. This is a, not a Scar podcast, but it's a it definitely. I talk to Scar people, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I throw a little bit of thing in there. So let me let me drop one more song here because you know I got your tunes here, and I appreciate you guys giving me the tunes too. Let's and do I, it, partner. I've been rocking this all through COVID. If you don't know, I have been rocking. Ooh. I've been playing everything I could. As we're in tonight, it's an easy. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the Dan Giants from out of Denver, Colorado. Big Andre, Big June. Are you crazy? That whole place broke up. <laughs> <laughs> the whole place broke up. <laughs> <Marshall. laughs> oh, you want some horns? Oh, you want some horns? Come on. <laughs> Dendrites alert. Dendrites alert. <laughs> yes. So we got a minute to go. Thank you guys very much for for coming here today and um, chilling with me for a bit. We're gonna play one of your one of your videos before we go. Um, anyone you wanna shout out before we bounce? Yeah, respect. I mean, Tara and Chris, thank you for what you guys are doing. We see you, we appreciate y'all. Rude Girl Review, keep doing what you're doing, bringing, bringing the ladies to the forefront. Sure. Um, you know, respect to, to all the bands that take the time to stop off in Denver. We see you. We appreciate you. Thanks for helping us make something happen out of nothing out here. And uh, Cooley, we see you, man. Thank you. Um, Supernova, respect. You know, thank you for throwing up the flag for, for all the big bands that are coming through and, and trying to throw down and party. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Cooley, most, most of all for having us, my friend. Thank you. For we appreciate you, man you on a different time zone than us <laughs> so for you to come out here and do this is a big deal so i appreciate y'all oh, oh man. Before, before i leave right there's another band that i saw was in minneapolis that were kind of they could they could work with you what was that what was that band that came on here you uh, talking prize fighters yeah man they could work with you guys and you could go over to that side and love switch that record <sighs> You, you know, love that band love the prize fighters for sure i'm sure, I'm sure it could be it could be a nice match Nice. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Let me see if we can parlay something over here. 
Yeah. So anyway, we are gone. I'll see you guys, ladies and gentlemen, next week. I forgot who's coming on, but I'll tell you. We we'll see you next week. Same time, same bad channel, same <laughs> Scott Pod, same seat, same chair, same car. We out. We're gonna play their music and we out. Peace. Peace.